Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am doing very well. I am back today with another kitchen table haul, all Dollar Tree. And I'm just busy this week and this is just faster and easier, but don't worry, you'll see me in front of the camera soon. I found some pretty cool things this time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I have. Let's start off with the kind of boring things. I am finally seeing the Dollar Tree brand tissues back in our stores, which makes me so happy because this is actually a very good deal. It's the two ply tissues. You get 175 soft facial tissues is what it says. These work great for us. We don't have a problem with these at all. Now, if we had a super bad cold or something and we were blowing our noses a lot and they were sore, yes, I would use a better brand but these work well. They are not hard. They're nice and soft. They don't have all the dusty little flyaway stuff. They work great. So I'm trying to restock. So I grabbed another box of those. Grabbed a box of my garbage bags. These are the Good Scents made in the USA, the Flap Ties, the Kitchen Garbage Bags, and the Lemon Scent, which you don't really smell the scent that much, and that's fine by me. And I couldn't find it with 14. I could only find it with 12. You should get 10, but you get 12. And these are the 13 gallon. These work great for us. And from what I'm seeing, I'm liking the deal at Dollar Tree with these as well. So picked them up. Then this looked very interesting to me. I believe I've seen this on the shelf before, but I could be wrong. This is the Supreme Tradition Herb and Garlic Marinade. And it is a 12.25 fluid ounce bottle, kind of a salad dressing type bottle. I thought this would look so good with chicken breast, kind of how they have it shown there on the picture. If you guys have tried this, let me know. But it just called my name for some reason. So this is going to be supper one night. Yum. Let's see if there is a, an expiration date handy. Best by April of 23. Nice long shelf life on that but it just it looks good so picked up one of those to try yep guys my hairy bow i haven't bought these in a little bit and they were there so and this bag if you noticed has a lot more of the red ones i like them both the red and the very very dark purple but the red i do prefer so picked up a bag of those and this is a four ounce package and this little bag lasts me a long time and it says crunchy and chewy, delicious. These are so, so good. It's horrible, but they're good. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of slide some stuff over here. Then we saw this guy, and there's no way I can fit him in the frame. He is Mr. Easter Bunny. He is just adorably cute. He's very long and very thin. And I know that there is his wife out there somewhere, but couldn't find her. So I just picked up him, and it's just called Decor. He's so cute. And I have a wall that's kind of long and thin, so he's gonna work well there. He's just adorable. They had a whole bunch of these, but a lot of them, the faces were all messed up. It looks like it looked like maybe they had spilled something oily and it was all over the faces. So I picked up the one that didn't have that messiness on it. But he is just adorably cute, and his little carrot is three. No, it is not. It's not 3D. It definitely looks 3D, but his hand is. And there is glitter, little tiny bit of fall, but not much. And his paw is glitter and nose as well, and ears. So cute. I saw these this time, so I grabbed them when I saw them. These are the Easter bags, the basket bags, and you get two pieces in here. I like having these because I fill the Easter basket so full and these just come in handy. Wrap the Easter basket in one of these nice big bags. They work great. And does it have, I don't think it says the, the dimensions on it, but they're pretty big. They definitely work for any of the Easter baskets that I use. So I did pick up two packages of those, both the same. So that's two and four, and I believe I may have some left over from last year, so I should have plenty. And then we have a birthday coming up, so I needed some more supplies. I, I grab this all the time because I think it is a great deal. It is their tissue paper. You get 35 sheets in here. This works great for me, and it is 20 inch, 20 inch by 20 inch, 
works well. I do have some in my Christmas bin that I keep all of my boxes and bows and tape and all that stuff, but I don't feel like digging out that bin. So I picked this up and it'll come in handy just throughout the year as well with, as other birthdays come along. I needed another big gift bag and I saw this one and thought it was just fun and festive. And it's just stars on a white background, all different colors, gray ribbon handles. I thought it was really cute. And then I saw this, this bow to go with it. The gift is for a girl, so I saw this one. I was looking for a pack of this that had two of these curled ones, but they didn't have any. They just had this one with the big bow, and this bow is very big. They had the bow, and they had the curled ribbon, and you can rip it apart. And you know they have the um, perforation here that you can rip, and then it has the sticky peel off back. But I just thought that was really pretty, and we'll go with that. And there's a couple little outfits that I need to wrap. So I picked up a package of their, their um, little clothes boxes. And this is a three-piece gift box. And it is 7 point, what does that say? 7.87 by 10.87 inch by 1.25 inch. So pick that up to wrap up some, some little outfits. And then... I saw these and thought they were just beautiful. It's gonna be hard to show with the glare. But these are the iron-on art. I did it last year on a t-shirt. They have them again this year out. One is a um, tiger, and I believe it's like silver little gems with black. I had put it on a t-shirt, it worked great. I can't remember what the other one was. There was another one that I did that worked really well. But I saw this one and thought it's so me. It has the crown in silver little gems with a little touch of pink here in the center. And it says queen. I love that. I think it is so pretty. And the queen rhinestones are also in pink. I thought that was so cute. Even if you don't want to put, you know, if you just want the word queen, you could cut it and just use that or just use the crown. I thought it was adorable. And I'm going to put it on a t-shirt, but you could use them on anything. Tote bags. And it does have the directions on the back. Read the directions well and make sure that you iron and iron and iron. Try to get your iron, you know, as you do it up inside out and try to make sure that you get every single little gem when you do it or they will come off. And they do eventually, as you launder it, they do eventually start popping off, but I think they work well and they're beautiful. They had that one. And they had this one that says Faith, and I think that is just gorgeous. And it is also in the silver little sparkly gems. It's so pretty. And also the instructions are on the back. And it does show you kind of there how they did it on a, a tote bag and also on a t-shirt. I'll show you the, the queen one as well. That's how they did the queen one on a t-shirt and a, and a tote bag. And then they had this one that says blessed. They also had faith. And I think faith is the one that I did last year, the other one. But I saw blessed and really liked that. And it was in gold. And I thought that was really different. And I do, I go back and forth with my jewelry wearing gold and silver. So I thought it would be nice to have something with a gold on it. And then on the back, it shows you there how it's blessed. So I like those. I'm going to give those a try one day when... When I have nothing else to do, I'm going to dig out some of my Dollar Tree t-shirts and I'm going to just go ahead and make up some t-shirts. I should try to find a, um, a plain fabric tote bag at the Dollar Tree or make one myself and try to do it on that, but we'll see about that. So anyway, guys, that is it for this short little Dollar Tree haul. Keep finding some really cute things. I just, I love the Dollar Tree. So if you guys like this type of video, if you like my content, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.